everybody, it's Rain, and today I'm going to be showing you some tips on how to spin extra, extra fine on your Ashford eSpinner 3. I've already spun this, and this is going to be my husband's socks, and I'm pretty sure that it's an actual fingering weight, but I had to spin a little extra thin because this fiber that I'm using here is um, very bouncy and thick and it spins and sets a lot thicker. So today we're going to be using, this is some Gouda, some Gouda fiber from my other wool. It has a bunch of different breeds mixed and we're going to see how thin we can spin it. First of all, I'm going to spin just the regular way. like so. So our tension, this is no tension, so I'm literally going to just twist it until it has a little bit of tension, just like so. So one of my most helpful tips that I can give you to spin very, very fine is to use your left hand as a break if you spin right-handed. You'll be using your right hand if you're spinning left-handed. But as you're drafting out, if you use your right hand to draft, definitely hold your left fingers together around that fiber a lot to kind of use it as a break to stop more fiber drafting out than you want. This is a very crucial step in spinning very, very fine. And I'm sure it can help you as well. I want you to watch my bobbin when I stop the wheel. Here we go. We're spinning along. Very thin. As you can see, this is what I want to combat. When I stopped my wheel, it caused the bobbin to keep on spinning and create these pigtails because it did not wind it onto the bobbin because there was not enough tension to do so. Do a ply back. It is very thin. As you can see, yes, it's, it's um, less than fingering. I'm gonna up my tension just a tad little bit see if that helps so that's where we had it no tension I'm gonna add just a tiny little twist more nope Not enough twist. so as you could see in that last clip the fiber broke as soon as I started my wheel so remember to add a little bit more twist than you're used to if you're going to be spinning very fine like this so I pretty much started all over and this is new territory for me. I've never spun this fine on the Ashford. I've only done it on my Eel Wheel Nano, which is meant for uh, more finer yarns. So we are learning together. So here's a stop test. We stopped it there, and as you can see, it did not really create much of a pigtail. It did a little bit, but that's totally fine with me, as long as it's not enough to get twisted. So we can just keep a check on that, make sure we have enough twist, and keep on going. I do want to show you one more tip for spinning fine. Um, I'm letting all that twist build up and then if you watch my right hand, my fingers, I'll kind of twist it back out a little bit and then pull forward and it works very well with fine yarns as well. It's one of my favorite techniques in spinning and this is a good view of just how fine this yarn is that I was working on very fine um, probably like I'm not sure maybe maybe 15 to 10 fibers in the entire strand I was going as thin as I possibly could as thin as I was comfortable going and there is the plyback test now this paper I just took regular yarn like you get from the store 
a DK weight and a fingering and then I unplied the fingering and used that for the thin one and just went over it with a pen and put it on the paper to make kind of a ink blot to show the thickness of it and it's relatively accurate but it's not as accurate as like an actual wraps per inch tool of course but it's all I have for now and that's what I'm using Here's the clip where I was trying to spin as fine as I possibly could. If you look at my left hand, you can see just how much the Ashford will cause your fine, fine yarns to shake while you're spinning it. This can be a little annoying, but it's not a deal breaker. I can still spin really, really thin like this. And once I did get down to this thin, when I stopped my bobbin, it did start to push a little forward on itself. So I'm going to show you a little tip you can use if you're spinning extra, extra fine like I did in that clip. I do want to show you a little, a little tip you can use. But the problem with this is you cannot use it for more than I would say 50 grams at a time. I used it for this and didn't have any problems and you can see how full it is. This exact bobbin was weighed out to be 50 grams of fiber. So I'm going to break my fiber off, keep my twist in it as much as possible so I don't lose any twist and instead of threading it through that yarn guide and out the orifice, I'm going to pull this back just a little bit and we're going to thread it into this yarn guide on the other side and then out through the front guide on your flyer and then out through the orifice. This is a technique called cross lacing or cross threading but I don't know if it's recommended to do this with Ashford East Spinner 3 but I have spun a total of um, four bobbins with 50 grams of fiber on each bobbin and I have not had any problems whatsoever. So, the thing about this is, if you look, you've only got a little bit of um, room under here. You wouldn't be able to use this if you're gonna have a full bobbin because then this is just gonna hit your yarn. But this will work if you're using probably about 40 to 50 grams of yarn. And that's all you're going to make on one bobbin. Now you could push it a little further up to 60 grams or so, but I wouldn't go too much further than that because then you could risk it really rubbing up against your finished yarn and that just wouldn't be good. So as you can see, I have it cross threaded. So this next clip is going to tell you the reasons that you might want to cross thread and you can weigh the options for yourself and decide if it's something you may want to try with your own e-spinner. It is still going just the same except I can up my tension a little bit so that my bobbin can stop properly and it doesn't affect the amount of pull on my fiber and my hands down here. So I can still keep the spin very very thin and add enough twist Yet, I can, when I stop my wheel, it's going to stop and there's not going to be any pigtails affecting my yarn. Now when you start getting closer to the end, you can pull your guides down and the piece of yarn that is cross it will start rubbing up against your bobbin a little bit. But I did a whole 50 grams and I was able to go all the way from one side of the bobbin to the other and I didn't have any issues with that little bit of yarn rubbing the bobbin. The bobbins on this e spinner are very smooth and there are no grab grabby parts or anything that could affect it and it was a smooth spin all the way through and very enjoyable actually. There's a clip showing you can get it all the way to the end of the bobbin just fine. Here's the last plyback test. That middle line is fingering. The line on the right is four plies of that make fingering and the one on the left is DK. So this particular yarn, it's plied in this segment. So it would be about eight plies to make fingering weight. And here's the single being measured. 
So I'm sorry there's no real end to this video. This yarn in particular was just a sample spin for the video to see how thin I could go. And I hope you all have learned something, even if it's just a small spinning tip or on cross lacing, that you can do it with an e-spinner and not just a treadle wheel. You can always do more research on cross lacing online. I found a lot of helpful blog posts, so you can look for those as well if you want more information. I couldn't find very much about cross lacing e-spinners though. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. I'm most active on Instagram. I also have an Etsy shop for anyone that's interested in that. Or you can just go to rainfiberarts.com. That will take you to my Etsy shop. This month has been absolutely crazy for me. I hope you all are having a better December than me. I'm in the Christmas spirit and I'm excited for Christmas. But that's about it. Other than that... I hope you all have a wonderful week and weekend, and I will see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.